out of that stolen car and the teenagers who police say crashed it. Two of those teens now facing charges. Nine on your side spoke with people who say that crash woke them up. It was so loud. TJ Parker is live at police headquarters with their story. TJ. Well, Carol, Cincinnati police are getting a better understanding of those teens that were involved in that crash that was connected to that missing baby. And we now know the mother knew where that baby was this whole time. Cincinnati police say four teenagers are in custody being questioned as investigators try to determine what exactly happened after a woman reported her car was stolen with her newborn baby inside. The crash where police arrested the teens happened at Prosperity Place near Western Hills High. I just heard a big crash. I just come out and seen, seen, them, seen a car across the street here. Richard Foist woke up to the sound of this red Ford Focus hitting a tree on his street. We do have cars uh, driving fast down here sometimes and this and that, but uh, nothing like that. You know, that was scary. Scott Souter also saw what happened right outside his home. After finding out the crash had something to do with the possible missing baby, tonight he's just glad everything turned out okay. It's just a uh, relief that, you know, that this baby was found, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, and all right. Terrifying. People should be watching their children so they don't do this stuff and get more discipline in their homes. Neighbor and parent herself, Marie Meese, also watched as police surrounded her neighborhood. Neighbors tell Nine on Your Side if these teens did what they're accused of, they're appalled. I got a word to the teenagers out here. Go to school, get an education. That's the best thing you can get out here. If you don't, <laughs> the Justice Center or the graveyard. It's one of the two because it's getting rough out here. And if you ain't out here to do something positive, <laughs> The devil's gonna get you. The suspects led police on a short chase before they were arrested. They were taken to District 3 for questioning. Yeah, you can really get a sense of what those neighbors were going through when they saw this this morning. Now, police say the car that was stolen was Nicole Benton's car, but they're not sure how she knew those teens. We're live downtown. I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.